Hi guys, my name is Pip. I'm the Principal Physio and Clinic Owner here at Sydney Advanced Physio. And I thought what I would do is just run you through a few of the service changes and the way we've adapted to the COVID crisis, just so you know a little bit more about what's going to happen when you come into the clinic. So it goes without saying that if you have recently traveled or if you have any symptoms of any illness at all, that we ask that you call the clinic to reschedule your appointment. Before you come into the clinic, we ask that you wash your hands in the bathroom near the lift before you come in, just to make sure. If you would like to wear a mask while you're in the clinic, that is completely fine. In terms of how our physios and our massage therapists are working, as much as we can, we're trying to stagger the shifts. So what this would mean is that one therapist would start treating at 10 o'clock and the next one would start at 10.15, rather than having everybody come in on the half hour or on the hour. The reason we're doing this is to allow for time for people to move through the reception area to do their next appointments and their payments before the next client is coming out of the treatment room. We're trying to, as much as we can, prevent an accumulation of people in the waiting area at any one time to allow for social distancing to be maximized while you're in the clinic. Our treatment rooms are also all eight square meters, which is the assigned amount of space that is required for two people to be in an enclosed space. And our therapists are, are changing rooms each time they treat someone new. So after I treat someone, the room is fully disinfected and that room is left alone for a while. I then treat in another room and that room then gets disinfected after I've used that room. Our classes are back, but they're operating a little bit differently. So they still have a maximum of four to five people in each class there's still an individualized program which means you're doing exercises that are specific for your needs but if you were to come to an equipment class previously you would have been in the equipment gym now that that equipment is spread out over our two large gyms so you would come in and be assigned set pieces of equipment for that day that you come in for a class and then at the end of your class that equipment is all disinfected again so at the moment the disinfecting process after a class can take up to 30 minutes so it is quite an extensive process so we really do ask that you be considerate and not come to the clinic if you are unwell in any capacity unfortunately at this time that also means we're not able to run our mums and bubs classes. In terms of bringing your children to the clinic, ordinarily we're a very kid-friendly place. We have toys for the kids to play with, but unfortunately they've all been put away. So at the moment we are asking that you don't bring your children to the clinic because we are trying to minimize the number of people that any therapist or any other member of the community are exposed to while they're in the clinic. So occasions where this might be variable are when children are under six months old and they're coming in with mum or they're still breastfeeding. Children who have special difficulties or special needs that make them dependent on being within their parents' care and they can't be easily looked after by a grandparent or a babysitter. Or in the event that the child is actually the person receiving treatment, then they can obviously come in and they come in with their guardian or their parent. I do realize that this is gonna make it a little bit harder for some people to come to physio because they can't bring their kids but I hope that you will understand that we have really gone above and beyond to try and make sure that this clinic is as clean and safe as possible we treat a lot of people who are elderly who have chronic illnesses and also unfortunately we do have some patients currently who either have cancer themselves or have members of their family that have cancer currently so obviously we are trying to protect those people and make it as safe as possible for them to come and get the treatment they need without increasing their risk of being exposed to any illnesses, particularly the COVID bug. I know that there are other clinics in the area that are not being as restrictive with their services, but we feel that it is the best choice for the members of the community, but also for our staff. If our staff come in with so much as a sniffle, they need to go home and get COVID tested, which means that they're off work for at least two days. And that obviously has a very significant financial impact on our business and our ability to continue to be here to provide you with the service that you love. So I really hope that you'll understand that these restrictions are in place for your safety, for for our safety and we will continue to monitor the situation and update you as we update our services. We will still be running some online classes so that you can exercise from the comfort of your own home under the guidance of your physiotherapist. Our timetable is updated regularly on our website so you can see what classes are running anytime when you check there, which is sydneyadvancedphysio.com.au. But if you have any questions at all about our class timetable, about our therapists or about 
what therapies we offer, then please don't hesitate to give us a call on 9416 4410. You can also book in online anytime via sydneyadvancephysio.com.au. Once again, I would like to thank the community for supporting us through this really difficult time. It has been amazing to see the number of people who have supported us by telling their friends about us, who have come in for treatments, who have written Google reviews. All of these things have been really helpful in supporting us through this and also a massive shout out to our amazing staff. So don't forget to get in touch if you have any questions and hopefully we'll see you soon in the clinic and hopefully you're all well.